got a really bad ticking noise in that engine, and I think it's probably a valve. It, you know, it's that really high metallic clicking. I'll bring this camera in closer, and we can see if you can hear the noise I'm hearing. I had to turn the engine off, or otherwise you wouldn't hear me. And I suspect some of you are already thinking, hey, you just need to adjust the valves. You know, I pulled out my handy valve adjusting wrenches to show you these, but they do not work on these newer, what I call 60X engines. That's the 601, 602, and 603 engines produced from 1984 up into the early 1990s. You'll be interested to know that these are automatically adjusting lifters. They have hydraulic lifters installed in the engine of the factory. Let me show you what these look like. Note the small oil hole here in the side of this new lifter. That allows oil to enter into the body of this unit while the engine's running, and it will pump up and reduce the clearance between the top of the lifter and the cam and drive assembly. So once your engine's running, these will automatically self-adjust. The problem comes when they age and wear out internally. They won't hold pressure, and this unit inside will collapse causing the ticking sound that you heard earlier. The only solution to repairing these is to replace them. These are not repairable units. If you have one of the older cast iron diesels, what I call the 61X engines, produced from the mid 60s up to 1985, you will be able to use these wrenches to adjust your valves. But unfortunately, in this case, it's not possible. And let me tell you, changing out these lifters is not as easy as adjusting the valves in those older engines. It will require that you remove the valve cover, the camshaft assembly, in order to complete that particular repair. In the future, I will be producing a video on how to install new lifters in a 6OX engine. So stay tuned. <laughs>